Chemistry develops skills that can take you anywhere, and many useful substances have been accidentally discovered in research. A-level chemistry can take you to so many places. Engineering, maths and computer science, life sciences, behavioral and social sciences, physical sciences, genetics and genomics, Earth and Environmental Science, Human Biology and Health, and so many more. Can you see where you would like to be? Let's have a look at the top 10 courses by salary. and by employability. And look how many require chemistry A-level and how many require or prefer chemistry. Find out more about where chemistry can take you by listening to the professionals who are passionate about their jobs. Hello, I'm a dentist in general practice. I studied dentistry at Newcastle University over 10 years ago and had an amazing time. The year group that of dentistry is much smaller than it was of the medicine year group, so it gave you a real sense of belonging to the dental hospital. You got to know your peers really well, the lecturers and the clinicians that then later guide you through the practical sessions of the course. It's a five year degree and then you go on to that onto paid work and you can transition then that into general practice or more hospital based specialisms. It's a great course to almost guarantee you a good well paid job after qualification. It's also a job that can give you full time work, part time work, your choice. Also it can take you all over the United Kingdom, everywhere there's dentists. It can also transfer abroad of my year of 60 at least three of them are now a citizens of Australia and living and working out there. The five years consists of lectures, seminars, practical work. You start off doing dissections of cadavers and then it turns into you make a, a phantom head of teeth and on that you learn to do your drilling skills with the drilling skills, you then, if you pass that, you then go on to patients in the dental hospital. Uh, the final is not based on a dissertation like a lot of other degrees. It's based on a case study of a patient of your work that you've done um, and also obviously your exams um, as well at the end of that. It's an absolute brilliant course and I actually would really recommend you consider dentistry as an option for studying at university. Thank you. Hello, my name is Matsyana and I will be applying for dentistry and I've chosen dentistry for the same reason you could choose most healthcare professions. I really love helping people and providing care for them, which is why at the start of year 12 I really wanted to do medicine, but I changed my mind because through work experience and shadowing a dentist I realised that with dentistry you can connect with patients so much, you can really learn about them as people, not just as patients. And while you are influencing their lives by providing uh, healing care for them, you can build strong trust with them. And I'm so much a people's person. I love talking to people and learning about them. So that's, that's why I chose dentistry. And if you're interested in doing dentistry, you need to do a level of chemistry, biology, and one of the subject can be anything you want. And um, all entry requirements for every single UK university are three A's to get into dentistry. 
and some universities say you need a minimum amount of work experience. Most say as long as you have a little bit, it's fine. Um, I really recommend shadowing a dentist in a dental practice, preferably maybe your dentist because that might be easier for you to get work experience. Um, work experience at a dental lab is also something that I did um, and I found that really helpful. Uh, but if you can't do that, maybe try shadowing um, an orthodontist, for example, that could give you insight into the different careers that branch out from dentistry. MOOCs are also an incredible way to show work experience. They're basically online courses, and I did one with the University of Michigan in the United States. And uh, it was really interesting because it talks about the specific things you do in dentistry. And summer schools are also a really brilliant way to show work experience. And the summer school I went to, it was a virtual summer school with Leeds, and they really inspired me because they went into lots of really good detail about life as a dental student, which made me sure that I want to do dentistry. So if you're interested, I would absolutely recommend taking chemistry, and I would really recommend doing dentistry as it is a very rewarding career, because not only does it let you connect with people, but it gives you a lot of uh, free time, you can have a family, and it also gives you time for your hobbies. And I'm a musician, so I know that will definitely be perfect for me. Thank you very much. Hi, my name's Chloe. I'm a medical student at the University of Birmingham, and I'll be going into my third year this September. Um, so to get into Birmingham, I needed A star AA in chemistry, biology, and one other subject. And my insurance university, which was Leeds, I needed three A's. So I did chemistry, biology, French, EPQ, and AS maths. Um, I took a gap year before going to university, so I applied as, an, as a deferred applicant, so uh, I got my place for the following September, and I went travelling, um, I did quite a lot of like teaching English around the world, which was really cool, and did a lot of meeting new people and all that kind of stuff, but I'm really loving university now, um, pre-clinical pre years, which is what I've just done, uh, were quite hard, but they were a good challenge, and I'm looking forward to September when I'll be going into hospitals on placement, um, applying what we've learned to patients and spending more time on the wards. Hello, my name is Eleanor and I'm a veterinary student at the University of Bristol. I studied chemistry, biology and physics at A-level and maths as an AS. I struggled a bit with A-levels. I got a B in chemistry and biology first time around, so I decided to resit and reapply the year after. I got an A star and an A second time and I got into Bristol which was my first choice university. I'm really glad that I reapplied. I spent this year trying to get as much work experience as I could and I did a veterinary internship for a month which I found really interesting. I've just finished my first year out of five and I'm really enjoying the course so far. We have lots of practicals and dissections and we normally do lots of placements in holidays. If anybody has got any questions about studying veterinary feel free to get in touch I'd be happy to answer any questions or just have a chat about the application process. Hi everyone, my name's Jenny and I'm a community pharmacist. I work for Boots and I run a pharmacy in town. I have people come to me for services, so we will look after people that um, are on new medication, that want the morning after pill, that need a vaccination, um, travel advice on antimalarials, we also deal with their new prescription, so when someone starts new medication, we review people on long-term medication as well, and as a pharmacist, I get to manage a team as well. I choose, chose community pharmacy, um, I get to see a lot of people that way, and that's what I wanted to do. There's industry where you could work in pharmacy, and you could go and literally like invent new medicines, so you're there, um, and that's more chemistry-based. Uh, working on new medicines and then there's hospital pharmacy where you would look after a ward of people uh, they're your ward and you take care of them and you look for why they might be ill and and how you can help deal with that pharmacy degree is five years uh, four at the university and one year in training in whichever setting you choose um, the degree was quite intense there was um, I was at university five days a week and every week we had a one long lab session which was a full afternoon. We knew what it was going to be, we put in the effort and we knew what we needed to do. So 
uh, the, it might be more than other degrees, but you certainly get the output at the end. It's well worth doing. I think pharmacy is something that I wanted to do. I've been doing it for 15 years now and I've never looked back. So if you're thinking what degree should I be doing, it's certainly a good one to think about. Thank you. My name's Danny and I'm hoping to study chemistry at the University of Oxford. It's a four year course because it includes a master's, which is a year of research, so it'll help me decide if I want to do a PhD. University is a stepping stone towards becoming independent and I would encourage every student to consider going to university. Since the Salters A-Level course develops really strong practical skills, I'm looking forward to doing more lab work as well as the social life and the opportunities to meet new people. I'm also hoping to start my own society to support state school students to access top universities and top professions. Science graduates are really employable with many students not only going into research but also careers like banking, law or consulting. Hi, I'm Harry and I'm going to be studying Applied Chemistry and Chemical Engineering at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow. What first drew me to chemical engineering is that it's not just one subject, it's many rolled into one. It's chemistry, maths, physics, economics and problem solving. And it's all about taking a small scale lab process like the Harbour process and scaling it up to be large scale, profitable and safe for all those involved. And being a chemical engineer, you'll work with lots of different people. You'll work with materials engineers, you'll work with chemists, you'll work with health and safety. You'll even work with people who are doing operations on the factory floor. And chemical engineering can take you anywhere. You could be in pharmaceuticals, you could be in oil and gas, you could even be in the food industry. And the beauty of it is you don't need to know where you want to finish when you start out your chemical engineering journey. For those of you who are going on to do a science subject at university, I would say it's really, really important to check that your degree is accredited by the relevant body. So for instance, for chemistry, it would be the Royal Society of Chemistry. This tells your future employers that your degree is of the highest standard possible, and that makes your employability even greater. I'm going on to do a degree in cosmetic science where I will be learning how to make various skincare and makeup products and how they interact with different skin types. I am also doing a year in industry as part of my degree in order to increase my employability. Hello, I'm Michael and I'm currently studying a degree to become a paramedic at the University of Bedfordshire. As part of my course, I have to attend lectures each week to progress my studies and also utilise my knowledge within the field. As a student, you have the opportunity to accompany a fully qualified paramedic and attend the scene of an accident within as little as six months. I have always been a hands-on learner and believe that practical-based learning helps to develop my skills necessary for my chosen vocation. I have always aspired to have a career within the NHS, which I have learned can be very demanding at times, especially during this current climate. But having studied chemistry at Scarborough Sick from College, I have learned to apply the knowledge I've acquired through my studies to practical scenarios whether that be learning the medical properties of certain chemicals or drugs and their appropriate use depending on the symptoms and ensuring the exercise of safe medical practice. In addition, due to the methods of safe based medical practice changing on a daily basis, the skills I've acquired during my independent investigation as part of my course for chemistry have helped me study efficiently in preparation for each shift and utilising the information given to effectively perform my role as a student paramedic whilst adhering to safe based medical practice. For students looking to choose chemistry as a subject going forward, I cannot emphasise enough how the learning experience I took away with me has helped me to develop my skills in my chosen role. And in not so distant future, I look forward to taking to the streets as a fully qualified paramedic. I'm studying physics, but in the first year of my degree I did natural sciences, which is much broader. In that first year, the knowledge and techniques I picked up in A-level chemistry repeatedly helped in all the subjects I did, and none of them were actually chemistry. Chemistry is very valuable in that it doesn't matter what kind of science you go on to do, if it's physical or biological or nothing to do with chemistry, you'll still learn things that will be useful to you. Uni is honestly one of the best experiences I've had. 
it's so fun being able to explore the subject you love but at the same time it's really nice to try new things and join society so for example I climb twice a week and I'm part of the climbing society it's nice being able to go to events meet new people I needed two A stars and A and one one in step to get into uni and I did maths further maths chemistry and physics at A level Hello, I'm Rob, and I was a former chemistry student at the Scarborough City from College. I am currently now working as a paralegal in a solicitor's firm at the heart of the Manchester city centre, specialising in volume recoveries. After having graduated in law practice at Coventry University Scarborough campus, I aspire to become a charter legal executive, and the work-based practice I am currently undertaking is but an essential part of completing my Silex course and becoming a fellow of Silex. My journey would not be complete without a beginning, and as strange as it sounds, I started my educational journey of self-discovery through chemistry. As someone who has an analytic and forensic mindset, I chose a scientific subject which would hone my skills in investigation. As my line of work lies in the area of civil law, when approaching any claim, we look to work on an evidence-based practice and have to make executive decisions with respect to liability on the balance of probabilities as per the evidence placed before us. To assist us in making liability decisions, we use case laws as they set the precedents for any similar cases looking to go to litigation. The skills required of me now as a paralegal are not too dissimilar to my experiences when I was studying chemistry as an A-level, as we would have to complete independent investigations as part of our coursework and use articles created by our peers in the appropriate field to support our arguments. In addition, our job also looks to deal with uninsured losses, which in some cases would set to include personal injury. We would need to work collaboratively with medical experts when assessing the damages and having a key understanding in science has helped me to communicate more effectively and be able to resolve matters efficiently in the interest of our clients to the best of their possible outcome. outcome. So for you students looking to study chemistry as their chosen subject, I speak for those who have not chosen the more apparent career options as a result of studying chemistry. And I cannot empathise enough how chemistry has helped me develop my skills in law and I hope to carry my skills forward in any potential careers I look to pursue in the vast field that is law. I'm personally planning on going to Northumbria University and studying physiotherapy, as I believe that the skills that I've learned through doing chemistry, the academic knowledge and the scientific mindset will actually help benefit me doing that course. We would like to thank everybody for their contributions and hope this will help you start thinking about planning your journey.